And also, in our previous lesson, we discussed validators and we defined our field, even integer, as an integer field with a validators option, which takes only one validation integer is even here. So let's imagine that we actually, in our application, we have a lot of different fields like that, a lot of different uh, integer fields that should actually be even. Maybe you can, I don't know, have 50 models and each model will have uh, 10 fields which should be even integers. And, you know, in this case, uh, uh, we would need to uh, define the validators option for each of these fields, which uh, can be, you know, in infinite number of fields, and it's just uh, harder to read this uh, code, and uh, it it's actually harder to write it. So, in this case, we can actually define our custom field, and uh, It will be class, for example, even integer. By default, you can actually inherit from models field if you have some, you know, particular field that does not actually come close to any other field that is already defined in Django. And you can start with models field and, you know, define all the things that you like there. But in our case, our integer, even integer field, actually quite close to integer field. It's actually just an integer field with additional validator. So we will inherit from integer field and right now, if you leave uh, this, uh, uh, this, this uh, class alone, it will be just simple integer field, but we need to find, we need to add some validators to it. So to do that, uh, there are different options how you can do that. Uh, in our case, uh, we can redefine the init method. So we write definition init and we should pass self arcs quarks and so here we write super and we call the original init method and pass the parameters. So again, right now, uh, we didn't add anything new. We just redefined our init method, which is, and we basically called the original init method inside that. So it's again, it's just simple integer field. But again, we need to actually add our validators. And we have this self here, and we call that and we call parameters, no, not parameters, uh, sorry, validators. And so uh, the validators, again, it's a list right now. It's, I guess, empty, I'm not sure 100%, maybe there are already some, or some original validators, but I would guess that it's empty. And here we actually add our int is even validator. Again, you can add one more validator. I know I don't know int is odd, for example, if you want to I don't know uh, do something weird. Anyway, we have just created a even integer field, uh, which is basically integer field, but we just added additional validator here. And in this case, 
it will be defined like this. Let's see that we don't have any errors. Django DB model has, yeah, of course, because it's not, we don't, we, we don't get it from models. Integer and list object has no attribute add. Uh, it has append, sorry, I think. Yes, now we don't have any errors and let's try to, let's exit and let's try to migrate to alter this field. Right now it will be different. Uh, well, actually it will be the same, but uh, you know, it will be different way to define this even integer field. And let's migrate and let's run shell and let's do the same that we did before from models guide models import my model my model objects create even int i think it was and now let's try to validate it using the full clean method and again we received the validation error so this field with this field behave exactly the same way as it behaved in our previous lesson but now we can we actually define define the custom field for this and this is just a basic information about um, writing custom fields uh, I decided to not really go uh, full fully into this topic because it's very complicated but in the same time it's not really popular um, you don't really get to create a lot of custom fields custom complicated fields for example I don't know you can you can do a lot of stuff here for example you can uh, define the field which be which will behave like uh, like float number for example but it will be saved in the database as integer so you know you probably will not work on things like that in your professional career or in your projects but if you really need this uh, if you need uh, in-depth guide uh, there is a documentation uh, official Django documentation there are some examples on the internet about uh, you know some other cases uh, where you would need to define uh, this custom field uh, there is not really a lot of information about that but if you really need that if you really come across to some problem and you need to define custom field that will I don't know do something do some weird stuff with your database you can actually find in internet some information maybe one or two examples which will help you to develop your own uh, field but for this lesson this is it and i hope that was at least a little bit useful uh, at least i showed you that you know it's it's possible to create the custom fields and yeah i hope uh, uh, that was useful in a sense that you actually at least know that it's possible and you have some little understanding on how to do that.